Uh, hello, I'm Major Sam Cochran uh, with the uh, University of Memphis CIT Center, uh, and I've been there now four years. I retired from the Memphis Police Department as coordinator of the Crisis Intervention Team Program uh, for almost 34 years, and uh, so this opportunity now allows me uh, to uh, continue to promote CIT, uh, and I'm very fortunate of the invitation that uh, NAMI uh, Montana has extended me in, in other partnerships uh, throughout Montana uh, to, uh, uh, to help uh, promote, encourage, uh, and present uh, information about uh, the crisis intervention team. And of course, uh, the programs here in Montana have been excellent with regards to, to taking CIT and making it personal. And I think that's, uh, that's, I think that's really important and necessary. CIT, as what we oftentimes refer to it, is really a first responder uh, program in law enforcement to respond to crisis events related to mental illness. Uh, it's actually been expanded now over the years. Uh, CIT is now being introduced into corrections. Uh, into uh, probation, uh, so other uh, agencies there where they come into contact with possible crisis uh, uh, situations or, uh, or issues related to mental illness come into play. Uh, those individuals that are interacting uh, uh, need to be familiar with uh, mental illness and the topics relating to mental illness and people uh, who are struggling and coping with mental illness. And so the crisis intervention team is a very unique way of addressing, uh, I think, stigma. Uh, probably the better word would be prejudice, but many people like to use the word stigma, so I'll use it. Uh, but the, the contents of what I'm referring to is, <clears throat> over the years, I think everybody will recognize there's a lot of misinformation about mental illness. And oftentimes we read newspaper headlines uh, gathering other information of tragic events that happens within our communities and oftentimes law enforcement are caught up uh, into crisis cycles which involve not only the law enforcement uh, personnel themselves, uh, unfamiliar with uh, how to specifically address mental illness issues, uh, but also family members in their own personal crisis as well as people who have mental illness uh, in their personal crisis issues. And so when you have individuals that are not familiar, not really having a, uh, an understanding of some of the dynamics of a crisis, then anything and everything can go wrong. And so the crisis intervention team is, is intended to present a platform by which the community claims ownership of addressing these issues, not just from a law enforcement perspective, but the community is addressing it for a community purpose. Uh, so the ownership of CIT, clearly law enforcement is going to say CIT, that's our program. Uh, family members, of course, and represented by NAMI is going to step up and say CIT, that's our program. Uh, and so other advocates are going to say the same thing. The mental health providers are going to say, well, CIT, we do all the training. It's our program. The truth of the matter is, it is a combination of all of those uh, partnerships, uh, what I refer to as a community partnerships, to present community answers to community questions and community concerns. And that makes the difference. What I refer to as CIT is more than just training. So what I'm going to be talking about today is talking about the uh, partnerships. Some partnerships in Montana have already flourished and they're doing well and uh, I'm going to encourage them to continue, continue to do that. Other areas and regions uh, in, in Montana are coming along, but uh, sometimes they say, well, I'm not sure we can do that. We're very rural. Well, if the community works together, whether you're rural or whether you're a very large metropolitan, uh, you can address CIT for the community and for the community needs, uh, utilizing whatever community resources you have. So every community is a little bit different. CIT has some core principles, and the core principle is knowledge, core principles has to do with safety issues, core principles have to do with partnerships and voices of those partnerships to lead for a better community approach as opposed to just a training approach. Now don't get me wrong, training is great. Uh, CIT training is 40 hours of training, very intense, very passionate, very well. But I want officers to walk out of that training, not just with the reflection of training that they have acquired during that week's training, but I want them to walk out of the classroom and walk into the community attached to what 
we call partnerships. Knowing NAMI, knowing people who have mental illness, knowing mental health providers, and knowing resources that are available to them. And that's how we make changes. We make changes from a community level, and we're going to impact changes locally, county, and state. And so I hope to have some little small part on this, because the real energy behind CIT is people. People with passion, people with purpose, and people that take things personal. Thank you very much.